Here we have 11.3 using a calculator to evaluate natural and common logarithmic expressions. So you do have two buttons in your calculator that do perform logarithmic evaluations. Um, one of them is the button LOD and the other is a button that says LN. Okay, so log is the regular common log and LN is the natural log, okay? So you've got two, you've got the natural and the common. Now just FYI, if you see the log by itself of your argument, it literally means log base 10. And the reason why base 10 is considered the common argument is because that's the base that we use to count, right? We count to 10 and then we start with 20s and then we count through our and then we get to 30 and so on and so forth and it keeps repeating in that pattern, right? So that's why t base 10 is considered the common logarithm, okay? Now you also have another one if you see LN, it means natural logarithm. So if you have a natural logarithm of an argument, it means log base E, okay? And E is a number kind of like pi, right? It's pi is 3.14. E is 2.78, okay? Um, it's more precise than just 2.78, but that's kind of the rounded version of E, just like 3.14 is the rounded version of pi. So in order for me to type this in my calculator, I'm gonna have to hit my LOG log button and then type in five over six. And again, if you have not obtained this calculator by now, it is still not too late. Um, it definitely helps to use this calculator because exactly the way it looks on the computer should be exactly the way that it looks on the paper and vice versa. If they do not look the same, you have not typed it in there the same. That can't be said to be true for other calculators. Sometimes the way you put it in other calculators, it doesn't look anything like it does on paper. Um, and that can be confusing on whether or not you're typing it in there correctly or not. Okay, so here it says round to the nearest thousand. So this would be negative zero point tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and the one is not going to change the nine. So it stays just like that. Now the next one here is the LN. So I'm going to hit the LN button, which is this button. And then I'm going to type in 32.5, hit enter, and then round to the nearest thousandth so is 3.48. One. Now for the last one, this is the log button. Type in the square root of 11. Close my parentheses. And that one is 0 0.521. Okay. Because the 6 will affect the 0, right? Um, but that's pretty much it. All you're doing is typing them in the calculator but using the appropriate buttons. LOG for the common log and then LN for the natural log, okay?